Well, school is starting up again. Got to get back to those books. Unfortunately, though, for a lot of kids, it also means the start of being bullied. That's true. Joining us this morning, bully prevention expert Gabriella Van Bray. Uh, now, you were bullied as a child? I was bullied as a child because my story is that I'm adopted from Pakistan okay. to the Netherlands. And right. Dutch people, as you know, are very tall, right. <laughs> blonde and blue eyed, right. predominantly. And you're not all of those things. No. <laughs> so you kind of stood out a little bit. I stood out. I think that even if you're not adopted, we all have moments that we're an outcast, yeah. that we have such a hard time fitting in. And so I felt that bullying was my middle name. And I wow. said, Okay, I'm going to do something about it. And the reason why I'm so passionate is because children are losing their lives in North America and the world. I was right. going to say, you're smiling about this. I yeah. know you don't take it lightly, and you certainly have channeled your angst yes. into something positive. But what is bullying? Because it's a, it's a popular word these days. What is bullying For exactly? me, true bullying is that you're so fearful that you're paralyzed to live your life. Whoa. That's serious. So it causes you Not to essentially shut down. Yeah. Because kids will tease. They're just... That's just what they do. Not just kids, adults, well, adults do too, too when yeah. they beat me yeah. because they say, gosh, you didn't grow a lot from that little girl. Right, there you but go. That's teasing. Right. Yeah. That's, that doesn't paralyze me. Right. right. What paralyzes me is if you go after me, and then we have cyberbullying. If yes. you go after me day after day after day on cyberbullying, mm -hmm. I don't feel like I know who's attacking me. And is it partly intent, too? Because a lot of adults will tease lovingly. You know, we tease each other all the time right. on the yes. show. But... And the kids will do it too, but there are kids that they're not, that's not their goal. Their goal is to take no. you down. But I feel that, honestly, kids are smart. We pretend they're not. Mm. They are smart. And they know, because you see it in the shoulders, you see it in the bodily demeanor of someone. When you've gone a little bit too far, even us, we know it, yes. don't we? Yes. You, you kind of well, see Well, you know, it. but Rob speaks about intent, and I think that that is uh, important because we do tease, we do play, but we know where we're coming yeah. from. Right. But a child can't always make that distinction. No. And I think children are honestly mean. I mean, if I had a dream today, my dream would be to eradicate bullying yes. and bring human kindness back. Right. Because right. I'm trying to teach children that the human kindness is a choice. Yeah. It is a choice. It really is. And now, where do you think things changed a little bit? Because bullying's been around for Forever. generations, for thousands of years, probably since there's been more than one of us on the planet. Yeah. There's been bullying. Now, at one point, though, it became either epidemic or the stakes were raised. Something changed. When do you think that happened? I think our values changed. Okay. And, so, and also the economic structure of our countries. We cannot afford one job. We cannot afford even to have a mother at home. Right. There's no caretaker. So unfortunately, there's no big foundation. I had a mother at home. I wish she hadn't always been at home. Yeah. <laughs> I could have got away with to more, get, right? Yeah. Yes, to get into trouble. So talk but. about your three steps, because you yes. say you've got three steps that will yeah. eradicate bullying. The first step, really easy, is to become an active witness. Okay. What does that mean? Not show. You report it. You see something, report it. Don't, don't pretend it goes away. It won't go away. And okay. if the, bull, uh, the victim can't do it, do it for the victim because yes. you are a bystander. Yes. Active witness. Second, very important, and that is um, uh, um, the second part. Sorry, right. yeah, I just suddenly thought That's what okay. is That's the okay. second okay. one. Is, um, <laughs> learning the signs is, of bullying? Is learning the signs of bullying. But all people need to learn the signs. So the parents, yes. okay. the teachers, and the kids. So the yes. first one for the parents is really much easier. Talk. Parents communicate. Don't sit in front of the TV. I know it's easier. Right. But communicate. Find out if your child is bullying. And the last step. And the last step is intervention. Nobody wants to call both parents. Nobody does that. They right. always call only the bully parent. That's right. 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 I think both parents need to be called. They need to be aware. And if possible, if the school has time, this is often the problem, right. an intervention. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? And you said find out if your child is the bully. And yes. if your child is the bully, how do you deal with that? Because we want to protect our the children. The first one, take the stigma away. Don't be so embarrassed. Most okay. people are so embarrassed. It's, okay. it's not a big deal. All we need to do is stir the child into the right behavior and explain it. Okay. If we explain why it's wrong and find out why the child is targeting this one particular child. Right. It's okay, all, often interesting. If we get there fast enough, we can turn that life around and make sure it does, they don't become yes. bully adults because yeah. there's bully adults out there too, yeah. unfortunately. Yes. And this is your book, by the way, if anybody wants to look for it. It's called With All My Might. 
and uh, I'm sure they can find it on Amazon. They can. Amazon.com. There you go. Check it out. But she brought some for us to give away, as a matter of fact. That is true. Yes. In fact, if you want to read this, we have three copies they're giving away. And it's, again, as I call it, with all my might. Email chuck at realmilwaukeenow.com, and we will uh, just tell us who will be using the book and why you want to give it to them. That's uh, our little way of letting you, uh, finding out if you've got some good purposes behind the book, I suppose. Uh, we're going to have this contest run through 10 a.m. The prize value worth $20. So get on it now. Chuck at realmilwaukeenow.com. We'll be back. Thank you so much for joining us Thank this morning. You, yes. Appreciate it so much. Nice to meet you. I needed a job that was performing.